Okay. All right. Now, first, before we get started, when I'm uh, not necessarily when I'm gone, but whenever uh, the janitor comes in, they pick up all the stuff around the room. So, like, if someone needs a book, they'll put a book on the counter or whatever. But like, if they find notes and stuff, um, as teachers, we're technically supposed to kind of read the notes that people leave notes laying around because sometimes it has information that like the um, counselors should know about and stuff like that. So there have been quite a few lately. So like when I come in in the morning, there'll be a note there and stuff. And um, I just started going through my stuff from being gone um, last period. And uh, there was a note left yesterday, um, or it could have been the last couple of days because I've been gone. But um, uh, make sure you guys pick up your notes because I don't want to have to read your note. And then it's embarrassing for you. And you know, plus it's just a thing that the janitor should have to pick up after you guys and throw your stuff away like, and all that kind of stuff. Like so. study notes or like no, no like notes, notes people like, like passing notes to each other, yeah. you know, like when students pass and notes to somebody else. Okay? So what I've done in the past sometimes is I just read a note and then it embarrasses whoever wrote it enough that they like never write another note again. Read so, it, read it. So read this it. one says baby love. Outside, so. uh, All right. So. Is this anybody? Anybody's note in here? You wrote it. You wrote it. I wrote it. So, so I mean, I don't, I don't know. We do have a little bit extra time because you guys have a longer class. So I guess I probably could. But then it gets really embarrassing if we ever wrote it. So. Go read it. Yeah, it's there it is. Oh, it hard to be embarrassed. Let me see what it looks like first. I don't know. I just found it because I was just doing going through my stuff. It's fairly long. So. Oh, oh, let's see. Oh, this one, uh, oh, oh juicy. I gotta preview it first to make sure that it's not anything that would be bad. From church. We're thirteen. Come on. No, this one doesn't. Totally. Someone told me that what you do in this class is really fun today. Yeah, that's what someone told me. It's yeah. watch CNN student news and talk about the election. Uh, yeah. well, well, I'll try and do this quick so we can get to the system. Really All right, it says, it says baby love, and love is spelled L-U-V. Um, it's hard for me to write, but I think we need to talk. <laughs> yeah, that was me. That was supposed to get the code reading. All right. We, yeah. We've been together for so long. <laughs> Through, and through is spelled T-H-R-U. We've been together for so long, through good times and some not so good times. We really, we really depended on each other. All of our friends thought we were so cute. We thought we were so cute together and M-F-E-O. Uh, so like a text language? Yeah. yeah. M-F-E-O. What does that mean? We were so cute and M-F-E-O. Made for, for each, each other. other. Man. Oh, I just know that. Yeah, I'm, I'm an old guy, so I know it's not me. All right, let me put on this. It says, but things changed. You don't talk to me like you used to. Um, it's a little awkward. <laughs> you never, I gotta kind of preview it as I'm reading it. You never ask me about what I think, B-O-U-T. I really feel like I need some space. Be on my own and be myself. I don't know how else to say this, but I think we're over. There's more. And, and I hate to say it, but I think you're the reason we're breaking up. And then it just says, bye. Does it say a name? No. Well, there is, but I don't know. Oh, 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 It's not really a name, it's like a nickname. Okay. What is it? You guys probably know who it is if I read it. No! no. no. There's millions. Um, it says the American Colonies. What? Oh, that's dumb. Oh, that's dumb. Yeah. That's dumb. You wrote that. You wrote that. You wrote that. Turn to page 184. Oh, you guys the same thing. Why would you break up with me, Mr. What is on page 184? Is it the same thing? 
Declaration. The Declaration of Independence. This is the world's most famous printer flyer, the Declaration of Independence. Okay? Think about what I said in the letter. It talks about how I want to be by, be by myself. We thought we were going to be together forever. Okay? Look at the Declaration of Independence on page 184. It says we're breaking up. Okay? We, as the colonies, are separating from you, England. Okay? Then look on page 185. <laughs> almost every sentence, once you get into the meat of it, where it says um, the acts of the British king, what does it say? Before he. he, he, he. Who is he? The king. The king, okay? Oh, so just like in this letter it said, we're breaking up, then it said, you don't spend time with me anymore, you don't talk to me, you know, I could have included, you play Xbox too much, you never talk to me, you know, rock and stuff. Okay, so, so the Declaration of Independence does, why please? The Declaration of Independence does lay out, we're breaking up, and this is why, and it lists all the reasons. And it makes it extremely public. So the world's most famous breakup letter is guarded by guards today. It's under bulletproof glass. You saw the video on how they protect it. That is the world's most famous breakup letter. So you oh have all been punked. That was <laughs> that was that was Where's Ashton? Where is he? Where's Ashton? Where is he? Where is Ashton? He's right around the corner. <laughs> now, this is the deal. This is the deal. You guys have it easy because there's only one more class left. Okay. Now, some people almost blew it because they told me we were having fun in class. Okay? Yeah, they almost blew it. But we've been doing this for three three years now. Andy told me. We've been doing this three years now. We've never had anybody blow the secret. So you need to raise your right hand. Um, right hand. I, 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 I promise. Repeat after me. I promise. I promise. I promise. To not. Do not break the code, break the code. of social study silence. So that my students will be punked in the last period of the day. In the last period of the day. Okay. Anything, oh, I, no, anything I say. I didn't raise my hand. Anything I say. Anything I say. I say. From now on. From now on. You'll repeat. You'll repeat. Isn't this funny? Isn't this funny? <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. So don't tell anybody. No, that's not funny. Now, let me, let me, let me give you just a little more information, okay? We did this three years ago, and then last year, on the podcast that I do, I did this for my class, but I put a little MP3 player here, and I recorded their reaction when I read the letter, okay? So I did a podcast, basically talking to other teachers about how, you know, this is how you do this activity, and this is what it actually sounds like when you go through it in class and everything. So I put it up on my podcast, and it's been downloaded like tens of thousands of times. And I've had lots of people email me saying, oh, I did it in class, and I liked it. And so because I had that little recording, other teachers could hear kind of what happens. And it's funny because teachers say, oh, when I did it, the same stuff happened. People say, I know who that is, or, you know, the whole MFBO thing. I mean, I know what MFBO means, but, you know, when I put that in there... It kind, of makes, even know what that it kind of makes you think that obviously, as an old, you know, bald and white guy, can we know, hear it? There it is. Well, you can hear it, but this year, I thought I would do more than just record it with audio. Uh oh. What? 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 So you guys, you guys not only got punked, you got punked on video, and I'm putting this on the web so everyone can see that you guys got punked. Right. And scene. Thank you.